All right, hey YouTube, how you doing? It's your girl Miss Dun Dun, and I know I've been gone for a while, but as always, life has been happening, going on, and just had different stuff. So here I go. I actually have a lot of things that I'm preparing to show you to upload, but you know, let's just take it one step at a time. Um, actually, today has been an interesting day. It's like midnight, so it's actually tomorrow. Um, but I spent the whole day in my house. I'm, I don't do that very often, but I'm not feeling good. Um, but I'm doing my hair for tomorrow, and so I figured i never done this stuff on a video, so I would do it. So as you can tell, I just got out of the shower, um, and I washed my hair in the shower, and I use um, the Shea Moisture um, Restorative Conditioner and Shampoo and Conditioner. And it's been doing great things for my hair like I think that in combination with the castor oil <coughs> excuse me has been um really thickening up my locks and you know I look at my hair and I'm always amazed at the amount of shrinkage that I experience because especially in the back it's so like barely at the nape but it really gets down to about my shoulders so anywho so, as you all know, I'm always doing a wig review or something, and I don't wear my natural hair out generally. Every once in a while, I might do something like this, and I'll do some chunky twist, a chunky twist out, or I'll do flat twists, and then untangle it, and I'll just swoop it back real quick if I'm going to go to the store. But I really wear, wear it out as a style, but this past, the past almost week, not quite a whole week, maybe like the last five days, four or five days, I've been wearing my hair out. So I'm going to show you um, how I've been curling my hair with flexi rods, which give me more defined, softer curls that I like, and I feel like it gives me a look that, because a lot of times I feel like my natural hair just makes me look a, a lot younger. You know, I'm almost 25 years old, I feel like sometimes when I'm with my natural hair, oh, like I'm 16 or something, and I was able to do a look you know, that I feel like still keeps me in my age bracket. So what I'm going to put on my hair is my homemade leave-in conditioner. I follow the recipe by Kimmy Tube. Kimmy, Kimmy Tube, whatever. I know a lot of natural hair gals um, use her. And I use the Giovanni leave-in conditioner as my base. And, you know, you can go to her um, channel if you want to get the recipe. But I use that, um... And usually what I was doing was sectioning my hair out when I did this leave-in. So I washed it with the Shea Moisture Shampoo. And then I used the Restorative Conditioner as a washout shampoo, although it can be a leave-in. And I actually used it for the base of my, um, my, my, my Flexi Ride Out or whatever um, to get more defined curls. But I usually will like separate it and put it over each strand. And I've been using this um, for about, I've been using it, I almost says what, my last pay day or something. So almost two weeks I've been using the um, conditioner. And I like it. I mean, I don't know if I would give it thus far those rave reviews that I've seen other YouTubers give it. But I like it a lot. It keeps my curls soft. And it is something that I only use right after um, washing. So it's not like something I use as as a, a moisturizer during the week. What I use for that generally back is my S Curl Activator No Drip, which I am in love with. And I'm actually running out. It's like three squirts in here. So I need to go get some more. So yeah, what I'm about to do actually so I can stretch the hair a little more. So I'm going to do a light blow drying. Because my, again, my shrinkage is serious. <laughs> my shrinkage is something serious. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been off close. So I'm going to use a, a blow dryer so I can stretch it out a little bit more. Before I show you how I set it. So, um, and of course, I use the John Freedy Collection Frizz Ease Heat Defeat as a protectant, a heat protectant for my hair. So, be back in a chair. Alright, y'all. I'm back, and I'm all throwed out. 
whew, it doesn't take that long after I section it and everything. It's just a lot, and this is like a good blow dry. It's so funny to me because when I blow dry, when I had a relaxer, how just you know straight it got, and even a lot of my friends who are natural have been natural for a long time, and they blow dry their hair, but because they're so used to putting heat on their hair, it's still like blow dry so well. Mine still really like if I wanted really to be straight, straight, I would need a hot comb and a flat iron in order to get it straight, straight. So, this is the blow dryer and try not to like totally ruin my edges and put tons of heat. So, of course, like I said, I used the heat defeat when I blow dried it. When I finished, I put a small amount, like a quarter size amount of jojoba oil in my hand and rubbed it through. In my leave-in conditioner, this is also one of the ingredients as well as the Jamaican black castor oil that I use on my edges. So... And I'm trying to be careful with this because this little thing costs twelve dollars. Little thing of the vitamin shop brand jojoba oil is twelve dollars. So clearly we gonna be good with that. Um, and I put a little tea tree oil by Organic Root Stimulator in the middle because this is where I get my my scalp gets so dry and the hair in the middle gets so unbelievably like kind of brittle. So I try to keep that like. More than moisturize, I kind of try to keep it greasy. So, I'm going to start because it's almost 1 o'clock in the morning. And I have to be at church at 7 15 a.m. So, I need to get up. So, these are the flexi rods I have. I have the big purple ones. And I threw away the packaging, so I have no idea what the diameter size like is. But I got the purple ones, which are the biggest ones I have. I got the gray ones, which are more medium, and I got little hairs on them. <clears throat> and then I have the blue ones. And of course, they come in other colors, sizes, whatever. And these aren't even the biggest ones. <coughs> Excuse me, but that's what I have. So, let me show you how I go about doing it. Um, I pretty much just take a section. Like, you can put as much. Uses, I, you could definitely like look at the amount of hair I'm using. You could definitely use more hair than this, but I'm trying to use all. I, so far, I haven't used. I only have one pack of the purple ones, two packs of the gray ones, I think. And no, I think I just may have a pack of each one. And I still haven't used all of them, and I get a pretty good curl. But you could use the amount you use. So pretty much I do this. I comb it out again. And I'm going to do a little more detangling. I thought about running over my hair with a flat air. Just to make it really stretch. But I think that's a bit much. So I'm going to take my um, Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner. And use it. Um, <clears throat> to help get more stretch and then I just take this and sometimes all my ends are not you know, they're not even so and then I roll it roll it roll it roll it try to lay it down and then I just snap it any Oh, kind of way. So I'm going to do my whole hair. And then I'll show you what it looks like. And I'm going to go to sleep. Go wake up. And I'm going to show you what the results are. So, Alright. I'm all rolled up. I'm ready for bed. Because I got to get up in like. Four hours. Four and a half hours. So he's all rolled up. I actually managed to use all the rollers today. Let's see how it comes out. Oh, I might have to fix this one. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix this one. But other than that, I read the, and then I'll show you in the morning how it comes out. Bye. All right, y'all. So let me hurry up really, really, really quickly because I overslept. And I'm like really like, like I should be in my car. So I'm going to take these down. 
and all I do is fluff it out and I'll show you see this is how it looks this looks really regular my hair is still short excuse my voice oh I cannot believe I overslept if you hate that I got up turn the alarm off and then the other alarm went off and I was like okay we're not going to get us off I'm going to hit the snooze but I must have did something but I'm going to sleep for like another 45 minutes I'm kind of mad at myself right now uh, am I gonna subject you to taking all of these out? It's really not that many. Uh, so I'm a little look kind of crazy right now. And you could, depending on how you position them, because like some people, if your hair is longer, you get more spiral curls. My hair is not long, so. Still pretty medium left. It's not a TWA anymore, but it surely it's not long either. They're really easy to take out. And I put enough product on it where I don't feel like I need to put product on it right now. Oh, that was a little tight. So literally. I do this. Oh, some of them still kind of wet. That's not good. They've never been wet before still. Oh, man. Okay, I need that. Okay, so it's definitely a new day. And the first time when I did take it, took the rollers out, it did not come out like I had imagined. So, I decided to do it again. Um, so this is actually, I did that. Put them in Saturday night. That was Sunday morning. So it was actually Tuesday morning. And the one issue that I have is I feel like my hair sheds so much in general. And now I can see it more that I'm manipulating it every day. As opposed to when I wear my weaves and wigs. It's twisted or braided. And I don't touch it. So I'm seeing a lot like around. I don't know if you can see. Around the flexi rock. And I'm putting conditioner. I tried shea butter last night. And I'm getting a lot of breakage so that's not making me happy I thought I was going to make up all today so excuse my face if it you know because it might be a little ashy too out of emotional but since it's an updo I decided I could do my hair first and then my makeup I really don't like the amount of hair that comes off but I'm trying to, I ordered, haha, <laughs> okay, I ordered my Genesis virgin hair, which is like, if you know anything about weaves and wigs and you are into virgin hair, you know about Genesis. It's so, like, probably like the most popular hair that's like in the YouTube world right now that, um, you know, I've been seeing and on um, Facebook and everything. So, I got up yesterday morning and ordered my hair. It's my first time. So I was like, you know, I'm not spending any more money on my hair. I mean, I still have wigs and weaves and stuff. I even got some I need to review. Still, I got some. But I was like, you know, I will try to rock my natural hair because it has been growing good. I'm due for a trim, but I'm going to wait till I do my install. So, yeah. So what I'm actually going to do is, what I do is I kind of just run my hands through. It really has a lot of product on it already in my effort to keep it moisturized so I don't need to like necessarily put something on my hands to um, moisturize it so I kind of just pull the curls apart and see like some of them just don't take maybe I need to use the smaller curlers I need to get um, maybe the purple ones aren't working like they were at first and maybe I could use the purple ones for the back because I generally generally my hair in the back is longer and seems to have more curl retention so I need to put the bigger ones in the back and use only smaller ones in the middle but anywho I'm gonna do my makeup and finger comb the rest of my hair out and show you the results so alright youtubers this is the finished look I promise you when I did it the first time it wasn't as frizzy but it has nothing to do with the process I mean it's it's on natural hair and all I did was lightly blow dry my hair so I never straightened it. I'm sure like maybe the curls would have come out 
a little tighter had I like flat ironed it. But the whole point is not to put as much heat. But it has a lot more curl than my natural tight, tight, curly 4B, 4C type coils. And I love it in the back. It's a lot more curls for the back. And it's bigger. So, it'll, you know, the only thing is, like, see, some of them don't curl. I feel like Philly Diva did when she, that's why I got the idea when I tried to um, flexi ride it. But then, you know, I have some of these pieces that are just like whatever we're not gonna do anything and they're so rough on the ends but no matter how much I cut my hair now I did like a second big chop still but I'm happy with that actually I need to put a little bit of gel on my edges yeah but here's my flexi rod updo hope you like questions comments feel free have a good day